Today we're going to be looking at people who shoot their true colours. And trust me, it isn't pretty. Hello? Do you remember me? Bought a phone off yesterday on Facebook Marketplace. Okay. Yeah, yesterday I got it. Great, great phone. Really happy with it. It slipped out of my hand last night. Look at the back. It's all cracked now. So you dropped it. Okay. Smashed. Okay, but, yeah. okay, but, okay, but how has that happened? Um... I dropped it, it fell out of my hand. Yeah. Oh, so you dropped it? Okay, um, so why are you here? I just thought, because I only got it yesterday, that you might replace it or give me a refund, because, you know. How That's am I going to replace it? it works. It's not like I've got another phone. Well, give me a refund then, and you can have the phone back. Yeah, but, yeah, but why? Because it's broken now. Yeah, I know, but you've broken it. But, well, it was an accident, it just fell out of my hand, I couldn't help it. Okay, but like, it's not like this is a shop. I know, but you could, you could I should be able to get a, a free refund, really. No, you yeah. shouldn't. Yeah, but why? Is, no, 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 it's, it's not the war. It's damaged. And, yeah, no, no, but it's because damaged, but you. you damaged it. Yeah, but I didn't mean to. But, it's like, for example, if you crash a car, you think you've then crashed a car. You didn't mean to, but you've still done it. No, I just thought maybe you've got another phone you could give me, or... I don't. It's not like I've got stock. It's just an old phone I had. Oh. Well, maybe Would you pay for like, another one? Maybe it was a bit of a crack in it before I got it, and maybe... No, it there just wasn't. Me. You just said that you dropped it. Well, I know, but maybe it was a bit of damage, so when I dropped it, normally it wouldn't have cracked, but maybe it was already... A bit, bit broken I don't think that happened, it? to be honest. No, well, maybe... no, no. Mm. Well, it'd be good if you could give me another one or give me a refund. I can't. I don't know where you think that I've just got phones lying around. I'm, I'm not a shop. It was just an old phone I had. Okay. Well, if I give it you back, can you give me cash back for it? No. Cash? I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to give you any cash. And then you could sell it on again. No, but then that's... If you want to sell it, you can sell it. But I'm saying that the money which you gave me, that's remaining with me. Yeah, but surely you get a chance for a 14-day refund or return if you're not It's Facebook Marketplace. Okay, it's in a shop, in a shop, that, that may be the case. But I highly doubt if you've even admitted to dropping it, yeah, and breaking it yourself, I doubt that will ever happen. But I thought it said in the small print that you could get a refund. No, or... it didn't. I don't know where you read that small print. This is not a shop. Hmm. Well, uh, I just be good if you could give me another one, please. But I don't have another one. I bet you do. I don't. I have the phone which I'm using. Whose oh, mum is this? Like, this is someone's mum. Maybe you could fix it. What, what, could you fix it for me then? I'm you not... fix it, you broke it. I'm not a phone technician, Look. I'm just a normal person. So let me get this straight. This woman bought a second-hand phone off Facebook Marketplace, took it home, and then broke it accidentally. And now she wants a refund or a new phone. I feel like the older generation doesn't understand second-hand buying and, you know, Facebook Marketplace, etc. If you go and buy someone's phone, you're not going to get another one if you break it. It's not yours. The minute it gets handed to you, it's not yours. So she could walk to her car, drop the phone, break it, and it's still her fault. Like, she's not going to get another one. This is definitely a skit, but seriously, do people actually do Facebook transitions at their home? Take that stuff to a police station or somewhere where you don't lead some random to your house. Okay, so people are saying it's a skit. It could actually be a skit. However, I've actually seen videos like that before. i seen a video, I think it was in America somewhere. Or was it in the UK? I think it was like a thing of drawers. Basically, the person picked it up, obviously was walking away, and then they dropped it right outside. Now, the footage was off ring door camera. However, I've got a feeling they would probably try to do something like that. Like, what you do in a situation like that? You've bought it, you've picked it up, and then you broke it. Like, do you get your money back? Like, what actually happens? Yes, have you ever accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Okay, sir, you know that calling 911 without needing police or paramedics is a crime, correct? I was just curious if you ever accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Okay, I'm just making sure that you understand that abuse of 911 is a crime. Um, I wasn't aware of that, and I won't do it again, but I was just curious. Have you ever accepted so you just Jesus done Christ it again. as your Lord and Savior? Okay, sir, do you need the police or the paramedics there where you're at? No. 
Okay, Jesus Christ loves you. Something that I've noticed is that religion brings out insanity in people. Now, it's not everyone, it's a very small amount of people. However, it still does it. You're committing a felony and distracting an incredibly important service, probably risking the lives of other people. With this Jesus foo. Exactly, like she was literally like, you're literally like abusing 911. Are you aware of that? And then he was like, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it again. And then does it again. Like make it make sense. Now this is a guy who suffers from the sin of pride. He's so punctious and proud that he's a Christian who's willing to waste the time of 911 operators. 911 operators who could have Otherwise, be trying to save lives. He is a bad Christian. I actually do feel bad for Christians and just like even like anyone who's part of a religious group. I always see videos of absolutely insane religious people online, whether they're Christians, Muslims, etc. But I know people who are Christians, Muslims, Hindus, and they're nothing like him. I feel like people like him would also use their religion to push their bigotry. I hope he got charged. Like I really do hope he did. Because you're not allowed to do that. Incel harasses teenage girls during pandemic. Why are you guys wearing two masks? Or even three. I don't know. What do you do? Can you not sit down here? You're not even wearing I got Johnson and Johnson and Pfizer oh, and Moderna. I got I got all three vaccines. I got all three vaccines. Oh my god. No 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 no. Can I have some of your pizza? Oh no. It looks good. Can I have some? What is that? What? I have all three vaccines. I'm recording you, I'm gonna put it on YouTube. Oh, it's just cringy. What's your name? I'm filming you. I'm filming you. What's in this pot? Don't touch any of What's your name? You're kind of a <laughs> No, we're in the park. Where do, where do I have to go? Oh my god. What are you going to cry? Don't be a You are a No. It's weird how he goes so aggressive so quickly, isn't it? Oh my god. My freaking god, can I just have some pizza? Please? I have all three vaccines. Moderna, Johnson and Johnson, and Pfizer. You guys can't put your masks on, it's freaky. What's your name? Huh? Don't What's your name? You look like a frog. Your eyes are bugging out of your head. Cool. What's in here? Can I open this? Where are you going? Can I come with you guys? It's like weird. It's the fact that he's what? following them now, doing this in public. Why are you being a? I just want to hang out with you guys. Where are you going? And now he's following them. It's just weird. Like I see a lot of videos like that and Reddit all the time, and there's like a big audience for that. There's people who enjoy watching videos like that. Like why do you enjoy watching videos of men harassing people? Is this the same dude that harassed an older man at a store calling him a pedo? Quite frankly, it wouldn't surprise me. Like he does seem like the type of guy to do that. And yet again, why would you enjoy videos like that? What is there to like about a random man harassing people in public? Dude is out of breath from filming. I mean, I definitely picture in my head what he looks like, and it makes me really uncomfortable. We only watched that and it made me uncomfortable. So imagine how they felt. Like, that's just so weird, isn't it? Imagine going out literally having like a picnic and some random guy comes up films you insults you and then makes you walk away you know there's a lot of weird people in this world montreal business owner dumps water on a homeless man <laughs> There was a very mixed response to that video on Reddit. Like, a lot of people supported them doing that, but there were also quite a few people who didn't. Me, personally, I just think it's sad that the fact that someone is literally homeless and sleeping out in the street. A lot of times, whenever it comes to homeless people, people just look at them as, you know, drug addicts or, like, alcoholics. But nearly every time, they went through some very, very hard trauma. A lot of them have also worked, but it's a fact that, like, they literally would work but could not afford a house or somewhere to live. I had a homeless lady sleeping on my porch. I just called the police, but I also get it. If the cops don't bother to come by, and if you ask them to move on, they will ignore you. 
you. The lady at my porch also immediately tried to get into my home when the cops came. I doubt I was in any danger, but it's not a situation I want to be in. I also understand that viewpoint. You don't know who he is. You don't know if he's got a weapon on him, what he's actually there for. You know, he could harm someone. However, it does kind of just break my heart the fact that someone is put in that position where they don't have somewhere to go. They literally are sleeping in the street. Not to be that guy, but living in New York, most of the time homeless people don't listen to you and it's fruitless to call the cops. Not saying I condone this actions, but at the same time, I'm sure this was not their first attempt to have them move. I guarantee this has been edited to look like it was. To be fair, that's all we've seen. We literally seen this 20 minute clip. For all we know, he could have been sleeping outside their store for like the past month. However, it just is sad that he doesn't have somewhere to go. You know, it's sad that like he basically is just sleeping on the streets. You know, you'd think with a government and a country as powerful and as rich as America, they would have a system that would help homeless people. But sadly, there's a lot of people in the streets over there. Yeah, I'm not taking my family that place of that guy sleeping like that and we have to step over him. Seen too many clips of the homeless waking up in a confused frenzy swinging knives. Yet again, that's another viewpoint I understand. You know, you don't want to be stepping over him if you're going into the restaurant. You also don't know if he's got a weapon. Overall, I just think it's a very, very sad situation. I think that video was in Canada and not America. However, you know, it's sad to think that like countries are so powerful and so rich, yet there's still people here struggling in them. You know, it just breaks your heart. I'm an a-hole for taking advantage of my GF. Okay, from that title, I'm going to say you're an asshole and I hope this isn't what I think it's going to be. I feel like I'm going to get flames so far away. My GF and I have been together for three years. Since we started dating, we had a tradition of paying for each other's dinners for our birthdays. We don't have a limit on how much that meal would cost. My GF doesn't drink. She at the most has a mocktail or sparkling water. Okay, so I'm actually like that as well. I don't drink any alcohol. First of all, because it's expensive. Second of all, because it's bad for you. And third of all, hangovers. I don't know if you've ever had a hangover, but honestly, it's the worst thing ever. I usually pay 100 to 150 for both of us for a birthday dinner. My birthday is two days ago and we went out. I drink, which my GF doesn't like, and she thinks it's a waste of money. But it's my birthday and she agreed to pay for everything. I had eight drinks and a steak and dessert at the steakhouse, which cost about $200 with her $70 meal. It came out to $310 with tips. She didn't say anything at the time, but last night blew up at me for drinking so much and is expecting me to cover it. I defended myself because it was technically unlimited and no, I wasn't drunk. I have a pretty high tolerance, so it's not fair I can't enjoy myself. She's pretty frugal, so she thinks it's a crazy amount and I was an a-hole for leaving her with this high of a bill. We agreed we both pay for each other's meals and drinks and it's not my fault she doesn't normally get more than one drink and it's non-alcoholic, so it's cheaper. But she's been ignoring me and refusing to talk it out. If she's that upset, I'll reimburse her for my portion, but then that's the end of our tradition. Okay, so that's not as bad as what the title was making out to be. Are you a massive a-hole? No, because technically you didn't break the rules. However, you just bent them in a way that would benefit you. Whenever it comes to having no limit for something, there always is a limit. You know, common sense would tell you, right, okay, this is how much I'm gonna spend versus this is what I'm not gonna spend. Quite clearly, you went over that line. I mean, how many drinks did you have? Like eight drinks? Like how much are you drinking? Me personally, I get filled up after one glass of water. How are you drinking eight alcoholic drinks? You're the a-hole, but not for taking advantage of the situation. A deal is a deal. If this was a contract, you'd have caveats for anything off base. I assume you didn't, so you're not bound to honor what I would call an assumed agreement of fairness. But that's why you're the a-hole. Instead of dealing with the real issue here, apparently you have very different definitions of what an acceptable level of drinking is. You push the envelope, not only by making her come along for your eight, seriously bro, eight drinks, but making her pay for it. Passive aggressive AF, you did this spoiling for a fight and you got one. You're mad about being rained in your drinking, so you push back like this, you're the a-hole. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. You know, if you had one or two drinks, it's not too bad. Eight. At that point, I think you might need a little bit of help. Like, what are you drinking? Why are you drinking eight drinks? Like, how much is that? That has to be at least half a liter. Half a liter alcohol, that does not sound healthy. And yet again, with that whole agreement and tradition between you and her, you know what's acceptable and what is not acceptable, and you quite clearly went over the line. I'm at a hole for making my daughter choose a different restaurant for a birthday meal than the one she really wanted. My daughter very recently had her 17th birthday. My husband, 42, and I told her to pick out a restaurant that she'd like us to take her to for her birthday. She chose a seafood restaurant that we'd never been to. In looking over the menu, I saw the vast majority of the dishes contained shellfish. There were a few fish entries, as well as some surf and turf. There were only a couple of non-seafood dishes. Our son, 15 male, is definitely allergic to shellfish. He also can't stand fish. There was only a couple of dishes there that he could actually eat. I didn't want to take him there because I knew that he wouldn't really enjoy his meal and I was worried about cross-contamination. I told my daughter that this restaurant wouldn't work and she would have to pick out a different one. My son said he would be fine just staying home, that we could use some money that we would have spent at his meal to just order him a pizza instead. My husband also insisted that since it was our daughter's birthday that she should be able to choose a restaurant that her son would be fine home alone with pizza and video games. But here's the thing, we can only afford to go out as a family every so often. When we splurge on a restaurant meal, I want both our children there. I insist my daughter choose a different place and we have a nice meal as a family, but she is still a little salty that she didn't get to have her first choice of restaurants. Most people I've asked say I'm wrong, but again, we can only afford to go out every so often. Is it so wrong that I wanted to do it as a family? My daughter still had a nice birthday meal. Okay, so personally, I'm gonna say you are an a-hole. However, I feel like you're only viewing that situation 
situation for your own eyes. Put it this way, the son was happy not to go. The daughter also chose that restaurant. You know, it is her birthday and if everyone is happy except for you, what is the real issue? You're an a-hole for a lot of reasons. First, if you were going to put parameters on her choice, you should have told her that beforehand. Second, you seem more hung up in the fact that your son wouldn't like the food and his allergy. Your son's preferences are irrelevant. This is your daughter's day. He seems to understand that, but you don't. Third, if you were really concerned about cross-contamination, you could have called ahead to discuss your concerns and see what precautions the restaurant would be willing to take. If that isn't satisfying, which would be perfectly understandable, your son offered to stay home. I get that you wanted to have a family meal, but all you have done is tell your daughter she is not worth individual celebration. This could have been a great opportunity for you and your husband have individual time with your 17 year old, a rare opportunity. Instead you squandered that, created unnecessarily conflict and possibly formed resentment between your daughter and her brother. Exactly, this daughter is literally 17 you know, in a couple of years time she might be going off to college. And to me it just seems like the mum isn't happy so no one can be happy. I also feel like the son might be her favourite. If it was the other way around and it was the son's birthday meal and the daughter didn't want to go to the specific restaurant he wanted to go to, would you be bending over back for her? I don't think you would. Karen harasses a harpist. Okay so this is a thumbnail, I haven't watched this video yet but I did see it on Twitter and judging by what the comments were like apparently this person is a major Karen yeah she's not begging she's busking Yeah, they wanted to support her. I'm not asking for it. You are. You have to get a ticket for two pounds. That is begging. Yet again, how are you gonna see someone playing a harp out in public and have an issue with it? Some of these old people are just miserable. For her to be out and about playing, she has to have a permit, that's how busking works. And then she isn't begging, you know, she's playing music for everyone for free so they can listen. And she has like a wee donation thing so you know if they want to support her, they can. I don't understand it, all these old people talk about wanting to have nice things, yet whenever a nice thing is presented then they don't like it, they've got an issue with it. Just go back to your care home. Influencer wastes an entire batch of chocolate by sticking her tongue under the dispenser. Oh, don't do no. that. No, no, Chelsea. What? Was that wrong? <laughs> yes, it was wrong. <laughs> don't do that. Wait, what did you think I was gonna do? Oh, you've got to take a picture here. She knew exactly what she was doing, and the minute she got caught, she backtracked. I hope they made her pay for that stuff. It would surprise me if they did. Something tells me she got away from that whole entire situation without any consequences. Wait, what do you think I was gonna do? Um, not be a complete moron. Exactly, how are you gonna stick your tongue out, lick it in front of them, and be like, oh, did you think I was gonna do that? Yes, they did. And the thing is, as well, they're gonna have to completely empty that, clean it, they don't know what's in her mouth, and then redo it again. And it's also the fact she has the audacity to put that online like why would you post that sometimes i see these videos of people posting stuff about themselves online it's like why would you do that you're just making yourself look like an idiot well anyways guys that's really fat to do there that is some people who shoot their true colors and they weren't very pretty if you see me looking more people like this let me definitely will press subscribe and see you all tomorrow for another video